In this video, you'll be learning how to solve problems on equilibrium constant as part of a series on the Chemistry Olympiad preparation. But before then, I am Charles the Science Chef, creator of the Science Chef Academy YouTube channel, your online STEM study room where you can learn, grow, and succeed in any of your science, technology, engineering, and mathematics subjects. A mole, each of ethanoic acid and ethanol, are heated together at a constant temperature of 25 degrees Celsius until equilibrium has been reached. Titration of the reaction mixture with standard alkali shows the two-thirds of the acid has been used up. Calculate the equilibrium constant for the reaction, given the equation as follows. Ethanoic acid plus ethanol giving us ethyl ethanoate and water in a reversible reaction. As stated earlier, this reaction is on equilibrium what constant. And that's what we are asked to calculate here. First of what is the equilibrium constant? Equilibrium constant is the ratio of the active masses of the product to the active masses of the reactant in an equilibrium mixture. Let's consider this hypothetical equation. A plus B giving us what? C plus D. Let the number of moles of the reactants and products in this reaction be M, N, P, and Q, respectively. The equilibrium constant of this reaction can be expressed as the active mass of product C times the active mass of product D divided by the active mass of reactant A times the active mass of reactant B. So you can see that the active mass of a substance is the concentration of the substance raised to the power of stoichiometric value in the equation of the reaction. So coming back to our equation of reaction, ethanoic acid aqueous plus ethanol to give us ethyl ethanoate and water with the more ratio 1 ratio 1 ratio 1 ratio 1 now to find the equilibrium constant of a ratio we must know the equilibrium concentrations of the reactants and products in the equilibrium what mixture and to know the equilibrium concentrations since we are not given in the question then we have to use our ice table as follows what is our ice table that's the initial concentration i stands for initial concentration c stands for change while e stands for equilibrium concentration let's go back to the question from the question here, we are told that one mole each of the tannoic acid and what ethanol are heated together at this temperature until the equilibrium was what reached. However, titration of this mixture with standard alkali shows that two thirds of the acid was used up. Fine. So, which means that the initial concentration normally we are meant to use concentration here, but since we are not given the concentration in this question, in this question, we are not given concentration, we are given just number of moles. Since we are given number of moles, remember number of moles equals to what concentration times what volume, right? Concentration in moles per dm cube times volume in dm cube. But since they are silent on the volume here, you can assume that the volume is what one dm cube or that the volume is constant in a way. So if the volume is constant, it means that. Number of moles is directly proportional to what? Concentration. That's what that's the assumption we are making here. The number of moles is directly proportional to what? Concentration. Since we are not given the volume here. So that's why we'll be going ahead to use what? The number of moles given to us in the word question. So the additional number of moles of the acid was 
one mole and the ethanol too was what one mole right before the reaction there was no product formed so the ethyl ethanoid form was what zero and the water form was also what zero but from the question we are told that a strong alkali was used to show that two thirds of the acid was what used to which means that two thirds of this acid reacted with the word ethanol which means that only one third was left in the reaction mixture and that's what reacted with the word alkali right good it means that the change that occurred during the reaction was what two thirds of the word acid so the change here two over three two over three two over three and two over three since this is a reactant this will be what minus two over three this will be minus 2 over 3 and for product it will be what plus 2 over 3 and plus 2 over because as the reaction proceeds the concentration or the amount of the reactants will be what decreasing with respect to what time while the amount of the product will be increasing with respect to what time so when the reaction reaches equilibrium what will happen since we started with one mole and two third was used up what will be left at equilibrium to be what one over what Three, that's 1 minus 2 over 3 same thing here 1 minus 2 over 3 that's 1 over 3 and here now we started with nothing but two-third of amount of it was what formed right so with that at equilibrium 2 over 3 of this will also be what present and 2 over 3 of this will also be what present remember this is what water this is this is water this is for uh, ethyl ethanoid this is ethanol, this is ethanoic word acid. Let me write it out here. This is ethanoic acid. This is ethanol. This ethyl ethanoic and ester. And this is of course water. This reaction is an esterification word reaction so from here we are going to write the equilibrium constant of concentration for this particular word reaction that's what we have here we are going to write it for this reaction that will be kc equals to concentration of ethyl ethanoid All over concentration that's raised power one all over concentration of ethanoic acid times concentration of ethanol. You'll be wondering why we did not add water in this equilibrium what constant expression. Yes. Now look at the state symbol of water, the state of water. Water is what? is a liquid while others are all what aqueous now what you need to note is that when you're writing the equilibrium constant expression for any reversible reaction we don't consider substances in the liquid state and solid word states we only consider substances in the aqueous and gaseous word states why is that so because it is believed that the concentration of liquids of pure liquids and solid substances is always what constant like the concentration of water concentration of pure water is what constant it does not change right over a period will not what change so that's why they are not always what considered in the equilibrium constant what expression which means that you're not going to make use of this word value in calculating the equilibrium constant what expression so if you substitute the values this is two over three divided by 1 over 3 times 1 over 3 and that gives us 2 over 3 divided by 1 over 9 if we evaluate this will be 2 over 3 times 9 over 1 and this will give us 2 times 3 which is what 6 so the equilibrium constant for this reaction based on the question given to us is six so if you'd like to learn more about equilibrium constant or chemical equilibrium click on the join button showing on your screen next to the subscribe button to join our academy so if this video was helpful to you 
drop a comment and hit the like button. Also, if this is your first time here, subscribe to our channel and turn on your notification bell to always stay updated with our new uploads. Always strive to be a better version of yourself until I see you when I'll see you.